And I sit around with all these 20-somethings all the time over coffee who just have been so involved with like religious activity and they go like, I, I've, I've tried so hard to love the Lord. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. I put every single piece of effort that I had into loving him and it's just, it's not working out. And as I'm sitting in these conversations, I look at them and it's like, the equivalent of what you're saying is like, you love a girl. And what you're saying is, man, I went on her Goodreads. I looked at every book and I read all the books. I jumped on her Instagram. I saw all the pictures of the places that she went to and I went to all those places. I went on her Facebook and saw her memories and tried to relive all of those things. And I'm just sitting there looking at them going like, it sounds like what you're talking about is that you've compiled a bunch of information but you've never actually met them. Like you get it, cognitively you've understood like a bunch of facts but you don't know them. Like if I was gonna talk about my wife, like there's, there's a difference between knowing information and, and, and the feeling of me running my fingers through her hair. Or the deep emotion that wells out of me when I hear her giggle or snort. <laughs> or even the subtle nuance of just knowing how she's feeling on a very deep level based on the tone in which she's singing. We don't have that with him. We sit there and we've compiled a ton of information and yet we just, we're struggling to know who he is. And we don't relate to God like some of my neighbors, I live in an apartment building, it's not floor one to floor two. No, we relate to God like Hamlet relates to Shakespeare. And the only way that we know him is not by us striving to get to know him, is for us just like doing everything we can to just like, I, I'm gonna go reach who God is. No, the only way we figure out who he is is if he writes himself into his own story. 